What's good YouTube? Welcome to episode 1 of season 2 of Rebooter Challenge. So I decided to go ahead and reboot the series because there's a couple things that I wanted to do. I wanted to make it a little bit harder. I wanted to get rid of some of the mods and stuff that we had, all that fun stuff. It didn't really feel too much like a challenge at the moment, so I decided to make it a little bit harder. Quite a bit's changed. I got rid of the weapon mods that we were running and things like that. I left most of the mods that we were running, but basically cut on progression, did all the fun stuff. So it's actually going to be a challenge now. We have to worry about progression. We have to worry about all of that. All right, so now that I got everything set up, you can ignore Pyroclastic here. He is in creative mode just so I can get a good camera angle from outside. That's for the time lapses for the end of the videos and stuff like that. So just ignore him anytime you see him. I won't be using him except for cameras. So when we now that we're getting started, we've got the we've got a couple things and looks like in the air here. That's not what we're worried about. We need to, first thing we need to do is we need to find some resources and maybe think about getting to some water. So I'm gonna basically just ride around in the rover and try to find us a good little spot here. I've got the little camera guy actually following us, so that'll be pretty cool. Let me move in on here a little bit so you can see better. But yeah, he'll be following us around the entire time. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ride around looking for stuff. We're going to need water, we're going to need some magnesium pretty soon, and we need to spawn some stuff. So those are some ships there, so I'm not too worried about the ships at the moment. So yeah, the last tier, or the last part of the series that we did just felt a little bit too easy. It was We were a little overpowered with the, the different weapons and stuff that we had. I think the rail guns are still left in, but that should be about it. So we'll have some fun with that. And adding progression is going to add so much to this series, it's not even funny. The overarching idea that I want to do in this series is I want to set up a base on Titan since it's the new added planet that they just put in with the frostbite stuff. So that's going to be the overall plan is get over to Titan and set up a large storage, storage of all of our loot. But we are going to do the pirate challenge where we're only allowed to mine ice, mine magnesium, and mine uranium as well. So basically fuel and ammo. That looks like it's all desert over there, so that's probably not a good idea to go there. Not to mention it's a nice little trip down the cliff. It didn't look like we had much ice anywhere. I'm probably just going to head up into the mountains for now, just so we can secure some ice and maybe hopefully find some magnesium in the mountains as well. If we look around, there should be ice over that way, and it looks like that's about the only spot. So let me zoom in here, and we're going to head over towards that white-looking area over there. Now, we want to get as many things spawned as we can early game, so I'm going to ride around and try to make sure that we spawn a bunch of, via uh, a bunch of bases and things like that. The more that we can spawn, the more that we can take over. So that will be very, very good. Now the updated mod list will also be in the description under Season 2 for Freebooter Challenge if you're interested in following along with me or there's any mods here that you absolutely fall in love with. Hopefully once we get down here we'll have some stuff spawn. That would be nice. So the trick to getting these things to spawn, actually, is you have to move a kilometer within one minute. So just remember that and you should be good. And you'll have to be in an area that is open enough and less or non-hilly enough for a base to spawn as well. 
I'm gonna run over to this boulder and see what it is. Hopefully it's like magnesium. That would be nice. I do have wolves and spiders cut off as well, so we don't have to worry about them. That looks like cobalt. Yep, that is cobalt. That's not what we're looking for. Okay, we're gonna head over in this direction now that we're down in the gully here. I believe there was snow over here. And it looks like we're getting a spawn. What did we get? I have assertive installations and cargo ships and all of that, all the assertive stuff added in as well, along with the super engineered encounters and the exploration mods. So we're gonna, we should have plenty of action. However, the weapons aren't gonna be super overpowered and stuff like that. So we're basically sticking with vanilla weapons. All right, we have a military base here about what is it? 7.2 kilometers out that way. That's good. That's one of the things we're looking for. But we need to find some ice before we start going after anything. Okay, that looks like desert area. Let's head over towards the military guy over there and see if there's any water near him. That would be pretty handy. Looks like we have some mountain ranges somewhat nearby. If I have to go grab all the ice by hand, I will. As long as we're close enough to where we can get back and forth to it, I'm fine. Let's see what this is. That's nickel. Is there some magnesium around here? Yes, there is magnesium. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark this spot just for future reference. And we'll head on towards the military base over here hopefully we spawn some more stuff before we get over there as well that would be nice I'd like to take a I'd like to find us a good neutral base to attack first that would be a lot easier than trying to take a military base because we're starting out with nothing but a rifle and a little bit of ammo and no way to make the ammo as well so we're gonna have to take a base before we can move any further See if we can make it through this area here. Looks like we may. Yeah, we did. We got us a boulder over here. Let's see what this is. It's pro yeah, it looks like cobalt. Yep, that is cobalt. And what is this one? Looks like iron. Yep. Two useless boulders for us. Okay, we're about one and a half kilometers out. I need to start looking around. I think this is probably where we're gonna leave our ship at, just to make sure that we don't get too crazy, if you know what I mean. Let me move our view over here to show you guys what's going on over here. I also have him as untargetable as well. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to go take this guy. Um, the Probably our best bet is gonna be to dig our way to him. I just need to find a safe spot to get in there. It looks like we might be able to come in through this area and get pretty close to him before we have to start digging. He should have about a 700 meter range. So as long as we don't get within 0.7 Kilometers, we should be fine. Ooh, we've discovered the space pirates. Looks like they have. Okay, that looks like a ship. The Christine. All right, we may be able to safely sneak in on this guy, so we're gonna try that, just like we did in the beginning of the last series. And we also have a lookout tower over here in about three kilometers. This is good. This. This is what we were looking for. We needed to, ooh, we needed to get as many things spawned in as we could initially. Now we've got a hill here. Hopefully they can't see us through this hill because we're about to come within range. Okay, good. We are safe for now. 
I want to get as close as I can to this guy on top of the land before I start digging. That way it won't take as long to dig. But it looks like we're coming over the ridge line now. So we may want to start thinking about pulling out our weapon and... Ooh. Yep, that didn't work, but <laughs> it was funny. I left my weapon back at the base anyway, so I needed to run back here. So let me grab this and grab my weapon out of here and then fly over there. All right, here we go. Now I just need to go find my body here. Now I'm gonna kamikaze into my body. Hopefully we can make it there. And we may need to start digging our way there very shortly. Okay, it looks like it's time to start digging. Uh, they're shooting at us earlier than they were before, which is kind of weird, but we can deal with that just by digging our way to it. Number one thing I need to worry about right now is getting our body back. That way we don't lose our bottles and, or our bottle and our weapons here. All right. Oh, I didn't grab my bottle before. Okay, that works. So we're just going to dig our way up to the antenna here or to the military base here. So this is going to take a minute or three. I'll get with you when we get closer. Okay, our energy's getting low. I'm gonna run on back to the base here, just so we can, or not the base, but to the rover, just so we can fill up. I'll have to mark the edge of the grass here though, or the edge of our tunnel here. While I'm here, I also wanna pick up my bottle as well, because I still haven't grabbed it out of the rover yet. And I'm going to toss all of these extra tools and stuff that we got in here. Just so we can take those apart. There we go. That way we can take them apart when we're ready. Now I need to find my GPS marker there. And fly to it. Alright, we're good. We have energy and hydrogen. So we should be good for this. I'm just going to run to the end of the tunnel here and I will meet back up with you when we get closer to the military base. Okay, one of them got in a shot while I was running back. Apparently it could see into the tunnel if I wasn't crouched. So I've got a decent idea of where the one of the guns are. So we're going to sneak our head up here if we can. Let's see. Should be one right around in this area. Try not to waste too many bullets here. Okay, I see one right there. Try to take out this turret real quick and see if we can start working on the rest of them. All right, we got that turret down. I believe that's the one that was shooting at us and it looks like we've got a clear route to get in here now that that one's down. So we'll run in here and keep an eye out for anything that may attack us very carefully. Now we're going to have to cannibalize this base. Ooh, what? Oh, nice. I like those weapons. That's very well done. Now, yeah, we're going to have to cannibalize this base in order to unlock specific things. I'm not sure that may have been the only weapon here. Other than the ones here. It looks like that is for t like a anti-air targeting setup. 
Yes, it looks like we are completely in the clear there. Now the question is, what about inside? I took out the little corner piece here just to peek inside and see if there's any guns around. There don't appear to be. All right, we do have easy NPC takeovers set up. So if I take over this cockpit here and this guy here, we should be able to take over the entire base. Which we have to research that technology before we can fix it. But hopefully just by getting these below hack, we should be good. I don't know if we actually have to hack it or not. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to hack this. So we're going to have to build something real quick just to unlock the ability to do that. So let's go ahead and do just that. Let's find us a good spot over here to build on. I'm going to go ahead and take down this turret while I'm at it so I can grab its uh, armor or ammo. And I'm going to need to build. So what are we building first? I believe to unlock everything I need the basic assembler. We can do a survival kit that's probably cheaper. Yeah, it looks like the survival kit's going to be cheaper, so we're just going to build a quick survival kit here. And I'm going to go grab my ship real quick so we can have a place to dump stuff as we need to. Oh, yes, that's a good idea. While we're here, let me dump all this stuff in here. We do have a survival kit on the back here, so all we have to do is hack or bring it down below functional and repair it. There we go. And that counts as building one, so that should have opened up everything for us. Or not? No, it didn't. Interesting. I guess we'll start taking down this little building thing here. Because that's got a lot of steel plates. Now we just need some displays and computers. So what would have displays here? Yeah, there we go. There's, that guy had what we needed. Ooh, looks like we got a Space Pirate Hunchback dropship pretty close by. Hopefully he doesn't attack us. Okay, so now I just need some more, like 50 more computers here. Alright, so I grabbed the computers from the cockpit that was in there and we should be good to go here. Yes, awesome. We have unlocked the new blocks now, so I can dump this stuff and pick that back up because we're not really going to need that for now. This isn't going to be our base. This is going to be one that we're just taking apart for parts, and we'll find out where our base is going to be. But I just mainly needed to do that so I could access this cargo here. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we just started out with our elite automatic rifles, level three grinders, welder, yeah, level three tools all the way across, uh, missiles, and NATO ammo. That's a very good find, especially this early. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start working on taking this down and call the episode here thank you for watching the video all the way through how about dropping a like to let me know that you did also if you haven't already think about helping us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers if you liked what you saw and you want to see more click one of the videos on your screen now thank you have a nice day